This past Friday, Grammy-nominated artist Priya Darshini performed at the NHS Auditorium during third period. Priya Darshini is a singer and composer who combines her love for jazz and classical Indian music to create her pieces. Today we spoke with her about her career and with the band director about her performance. So I was approached for this opportunity by the Arts Council, which is a uh, a group of people that work downtown. They are responsible for First Night Northampton. They're responsible for uh, Arts Night Out, and they put together amazing events in our community. Last year, they reached out to me regarding the opportunity to write a grant to get Priya Darshini and her amazing group of musicians to come to our school. We uh, very much enjoyed her performance at last Friday and Saturday night at the Academy. Well, what inspired me to combine my love for jazz and Indian classical music basically comes from just the type of music I've grown up listening to. And I think jazz has so many similarities. Uh, when I was, again, when I was growing up, I was exposed to Miles Davis and Ella Fitzgerald. And, you know, I, it started, those were the first two jazz artists I heard and my mind was fully blown. Um, and and from then on, I just started to dive in deeper and deeper into jazz, and it's been so exciting. And that said, uh, my music also reflects many other styles of music, yeah, from around the world. So how did I get into music? I've been immersed in music since I was so young. I can't even remember a time there was that I was not. My family has always been into music. As a child, you know, even before I was born, my mother was exposing me to you know, music. My dad was exposing me to music. My grandmother would sing to my mom all the time, apparently. And um, so when I was a child, it just, I think my mother was my first teacher. She started teaching me how to sing. And then my grandmother was my teacher for many years. She still is my teacher even after she's long gone. Are there any pieces that mean a lot to me? Um, there's so many, to be honest. I've done a lot of work in many different diverse styles of music. I've, I feel very connected to everything that I've done. This last record that I put out, Periphery, was especially meaningful to me because not only did it point those walls out to me, it also broke down my walls, my internal walls that kept me from growing as a person. It really helped me process a lot. So that, that piece is very, that whole album to me is very, special. I love the song Loneliest Star very much. Uh, it's and it's amazing how it's taken new shapes every time I perform. I play that piece and it, it connects to people so deeply. I see music as my calling. I see that music has the power to heal. Uh, and I feel that music and the arts of all kinds can move people in ways that nothing else can. It's a feeling that you have and you can't express yourself in words or put it down, but you can feel it. And I think every human being deserves that. So I feel like it's my duty to serve in that way, to use my calling and how lucky am I? What a privilege I have to have something that I love doing, something that's been a gift. To have the gift of this art is a privilege. And I believe that I need to be sharing this privilege. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the Daily Bulletin to discover more performance at the high school.